In this video, we are going to start building our main feed for our home fragment here for displaying all the posts for whoever the user is following. And I think we're actually going to finish the clone this week, or finish it as far as I wanted to finish it, because I kind of want to move on to something else. So yeah, that's uh, kind of exciting. So the first thing we are going to do is we need to add a list view to our home fragment. So let's go into our home fragment. We can close all this stuff actually. Let's go into our layouts and go fragment home and we need to stick a list view into here. We can delete this home fragment text view. So just list view, match parent, match parent, and then just give it an ID of list view. And that's all we need to do for that. Now we need to create a list adapter and a layout for our list adapter for adapting the view to our list view. So we're going to create another new layout file. Uh, actually, I might be able to copy one. Let me think. It's going to be actually pretty much exactly the same as the view post fragment. The list items will be pretty much the same. So let's go uh, fragment view post and just copy that guy and paste it in here. And we're going to call this layout main feed list item. And close this. And I'm just going to look over this really quick here. I think the only thing we have to change is we have to get rid of this top toolbar here. And then it's pretty much the same. So let's. Uh, we can delete this relative layout then, and uh, do I want to use the same IDs? Let's go into layout view post, and it, it is different actually, because it's going to have the bottom navigation. We don't want the bottom navigation. Yeah, so we're going to have to create new stuff. So, well, we can delete this, and then let's go into uh, layout view post. So layout view post, and select all, copy and then close layout view post and let's paste it inside this relative layout here and we need to get rid of this top pair, pair, uh, relative layout we need to get rid of the scroll view we get rid of this relative layout so two relative layouts scroll view bottom navigation view and starting to look like it's supposed to ID below relative layout one, don't need that. We can call this relative layout one. Actually, you know, this doesn't even need an ID. Uh, tab, I want to tab everything in. And I think that's about what I am expecting here. Obviously, I don't need an orientation on a relative layout, but that looks pretty good. Just one thing I want to add, and that's going to be. Uh, background to this top relative layout here. Let's just try that. So there we go. Now we're going to create our list adapter class. So let's go into app, Java, and create a new utility class. And we'll call it uh, main feed list adapter. And extend array adapter. And the objects we're going to pass are photos. And then just implement what Android Studio or build the constructor. We're going to build one with the objects, so the context, the resource, and then the objects list. And close this. And then we can get our tag and a bunch more space down at the bottom here. And let's get started creating our objects. So our first object is going to be the layout inflator. So M layout inflator. And then we need, actually, we don't even need the list of photos. We can just do integer m layout resource and the context and database reference will need that I'll call it m reference and current username and I'll explain all those as we go of course and then we just need to instantiate our objects that we're using so the layout inflator context get system service and context dot layout inflator service and this dot, oh, we don't need to do the photos but we need the layout resource equals resource and this dot context equals context and then we're going to use the view holder build pattern like we always do so private static actually don't need the private static class view holder 
and we need a circle image view for the person's profile image. So M profile image and we need the likes string for the likes and we need the text view for the username and time delta so how long ago it was posted caption likes and comments and then we need a square image view for the image itself and then we need a couple more image views for the heart so the red heart the white heart and comments bubble and then we need a couple more objects because we need to as we're iterating through the list certain things are also getting saved that are specific to that post so we need to also save those into the view holder so we're going to save the user account settings for example in the view holder also so settings equals new user account settings and also uh, user equals new user and string builder users string m likes string and boolean whether it's liked by the user or not so liked by current user uh, we need to save the heart and we need a gesture detector gesture Basically, it's everything we need inside that we needed inside that uh, inside of our view post fragment. We need inside of our view holder because they get saved in that view holder because they're specific to that post. So now we insert our get view method. So control O and then get view, and we can delete the super because we're going to return convert view at the bottom. And okay, so the final view holder holder. And then the view holder build pattern. So if convert view equals to null, then convert view equals inflator, inflate our layout resource and parent and false. And then holder equals new view holder, view holder. And then we need to do all of our widgets and variables. So username we'll do first. Convert view, find view ID, r to id dot username, holder dot image equals image view, convert view, find view ID, r to id dot, uh, what was it? Post image, I think. Post image, holder dot heart red equals, uh, what, I think it's just image view, convert view, find view ID, r to id dot image heart red and why is this red it's saying it needs to be a square image view which is true I have a square image view where's my square image view there it is and then we have our heart oops folder dot heart white equals image view Convert view, find view ID, art ID dot image heart. I guess it's image heart. Folder dot comment equals image view. You might want to fast forward this. It's pretty boring. Art ID dot uh, image comments. Should be just image. The ID is speech bubble. Folder dot likes equals text view, convert view. Find view by ID r dot id dot image likes. I hope. Yep. Holder dot comments now. So plural, and that's going to be a text view this time, displaying how many comments there are. R dot id dot image comments link. I guess that's probably what it is. Holder dot caption. That's going to be a text view. Convert view. Find view by ID r dot id dot image caption I hope and holder time delta this is also going to be a text view find view by id r dot id dot image time posted and holder uh, whoops holder uh, profile image equals this should be a circle image view uh, 
find oops, find me ready or not any dots. Uh, this will be profile image. Yep, and holder dot heart equals. Oh, this is going to be not a widget. So new heart and holder dot heart white. Holder dot heart red. Holder dot photo equals. This will be get item and then we get the photo. Holder dot detector. New gesture detector. And we need to pass the context. A new gesture listener. Uh, nope, I don't want to implement the interface. I just want to say new gesture, new gesture listener, but I don't want to implement the interface. So new gesture listener, and then I'm just going to pass what happened there? Gesture listener, and then I'm just going to pass the view holder. And it's angry because we need to um, create that just like we did in our view post fragment. So let's go into view post fragment here. Uh, go into our fragment class. So view post fragment. We're going to copy our gesture listener. Where is that gesture listener? Somewhere in here. Here. So copy that whole class and go back into our main feed and paste it down at the bottom and we can fix all this so add the context to here to the get strings and photo is just going to be well we don't have a global photo so what we can do is we can create a default constructor so alt insert a constructor and we can pass the view holder so view holder folder and then we can create a global view holder object here. So view holder holder, I guess we could call it M holder just to show a difference. And then inside the constructor, go M holder equals holder. And then here, when we're trying to get the photo, we can do M holder dot photo and then get the photo ID. And let's see, liked by current user, same thing. We're going to do M holder dot, I think it's just liked by current user and let's see the reference did I save the reference in the view holder also that's just a class global so this should just be reference reference uh, heart will be the holders heart so holder dot heart and calling a get we're gonna need to create a get like string method this is gonna be holder dot liked by user again we need an add new like let's add that context to these get string methods here oops not there get string get string get string and m holder dot photo get rid of this photo so i can just grab that and replace it with the photo that should be good for those for the holder objects then we need to create a add new likes method, get like string method. Uh, let's see, are we done with creating our widgets? Uh, well, we need a bracket here. And we need just a few, one more widget actually. So holder.user, should be users for the string builder. Yeah, it goes new string builder. And so I think that this is where we're gonna stop this video because it's getting a little long. But in the next one, we'll continue on building our main feed list adapter class for adapting our feed to display posts from whoever we're following. So I'll see you guys in that next video.